Two weeks ago, former Kentucky Wildcat player Isaac Humphreys announced to his teammates in the world that he's gay. He said it was something that he had struggled with and had hidden, but now wants to be an example for anyone else who might be struggling. He talked with our Sean Moody this week about the huge response that he's seen, and that's the LEX 18 Big Story at 11. Yeah, Larry, Isaac Humphreys played here at Kentucky from 2015 to 2017, and he said across all big sports, locker rooms can feel like an intimidating place for people who aren't straight. I talked with him this week from his home in Melbourne, Australia, and he said he wants to be an example to show that a gay man can be accepted at the highest levels of sports. The basketball journey has been a long one for Isaac Humphreys, from Australia to Kentucky and back again. I was 17 when I came to Kentucky, so I was a kid. We all know what playing for Kentucky is like. It's so overwhelming. After his time at UK, Humphreys briefly played for the Atlanta Hawks, then returned home to play in Australia's National Basketball League. As he got older, he noticed something felt off. I'd been through some relationships um, with girls and nothing was sort of feeling right. And it, it wasn't until I was a bit older during COVID where it sort of really hit me like, um, oh, this is something I'm going to have to really address now. Uh, and that's sort of when I fell into my, my dark space and, and um, couldn't really, just couldn't figure it out. When I was just in, in the space of, of, you know, wanting to attempt, you know, attempt to take my life, I, it's, it was definitely the lowest I've ever been in my life. Look, I'm an uncle to two amazing nephews, and I didn't want to be the uncle that was a memory or the uncle that, you know, was talked about in the past and I didn't want to not be there for their lives. So that was a big, big part of why I wanted to get up and change this. So two weeks ago, Humphreys announced to his Melbourne United teammates and the world that he's gay. He wants to be an example as one of the very few openly gay professional basketball players in the world and the first in his league. And I never had a gay role model in sports to really look up to. So in particular basketball, so um, yeah, the fact that maybe they've got one now is, is awesome to me. Humphreys said the heavy weight of hiding himself lifted and his teammates have been nothing but supportive, especially one of them. It just, sorry, Marcus Lee's just walked in. <laughs> Marcus Lee, Humphreys teammate from way back at Kentucky, a familiar friend to be there for him. I came at the right time. Very, yeah, literally he arrived the day I came out um, publicly and just having like that familiar, friendly, like my, Marcus is one of my great, great friends. Humphrey said he's gotten a ton of support in Australia and around the globe. He wants people to understand what a big deal representation is. Someone asked me yesterday, you know, who cares? Like, why does this have to be such a thing? And I'm like, well, a lot of people care. There's a lot of people that feel they don't have a voice. And there's a whole community of people that just want someone to look at and someone to have, um, to, to have an example, to be an example. Um, it's the little kid down the road who wants to play basketball but feels he, he's not welcome. Like that's who cares. It's you know someone who's really struggling with um, their life and trying to get up every day and might see this as a tiny glimmer of hope that if I can do it, some then hit then they can. If you're struggling with thoughts of suicide, you can call the National Suicide Hotline at 988. Isaac told me he's heard from a lot of his former Wildcat teammates expressing support, but he said some other teams he's played on haven't acknowledged what's happened. He said there's a long way to go toward normalizing gay people in the big leagues, and he wants to help anyone else who's been where he has.